Hello! If you have a project that requires a custom build, well, you probably want to have some kind of outrageous, very cool way of keeping your CPU at a great temperature. And of course, the best way to do it is to go with water or liquid cooled. This is what we'll be looking at today. So this is an Arctic solution and we'll go ahead and do an unboxing. If, um, if you don't understand what this is for, it basically replaces a stock cooling. Um, sometimes when you buy a processor, whether it's an AMD or an Intel, they'll come with an actual fan or a little heat sink that comes with the processor. Most of the cases in the higher end processors, you won't get one of those, so you're expected to purchase one. So most people will opt for something that is air cooled. If you want to be a little cooler, have, uh, <laughs> you know, colors and so forth on it. And if you want to keep the processor much colder, this is the way to go. So this is very popular. This one here is a 360A RG, RGB. And uh, what it does is it provides you with three fans and basically it is the equivalent of a radiator. And if you know anything about radiators and cars, it basically uses different materials to take the heat away from the processor, recycles it through a bunch of fins, and then exits it through the use of fans. If you like this video, of course, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. That really, really helps us out, and we're so grateful for that. And thank you especially to all the new members out there. So let's go ahead and open this up. So Arctic is very well known in, in, in the industry, in case you are not familiar with these solutions. And what you will find may look impressive, but it's not terribly complicated. Uh, you're going to find a lot of tubes since it is, it's got to deal with liquids. And unlike some other solutions, this is a um, sort of self-contained system, meaning that you don't have to add or remove or change the liquids in this solution. So what you're going to see is the business end of this, which is where the processor goes. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to touch if it comes with paste or depending on the model you're going to go for. But in this case, uh, you don't want to, you know, put your fingers on the parts that go directly on the processor. You want to add contaminants. And you've got a bunch of little wires here that go to various parts. And all of this contraption is actually controlled through software that you can download. And you'll be able to control not only the fan speed, you'll be able to set it so that it goes up or down depending on the load on your processor. But it's also going to be able to control uh, the colors in this case. So you've got different themes. So your casing has a space. It could be on the back, on the top. And literally, as I said, it looks like a car radiator. You've got aluminum here that's uh, uh, coiled in there. Or it's not coiled, but it's uh, like a honeycomb kind of uh, apparatus with a bunch of fans. And that's all it does is it circulates liquid, hot goes in here, cools down, goes back to the processor's cooling system. So the rest of the things in the box really are going to be things like adapters. Because, of course, when you purchase this, um, you know, they have to build it so it goes both on AMD and Intel processors. So you're going to find one kit here, and it's specifically going to say Intel. This one's for an LGA 1700, and the other one here is it says AMD right there. So there's no confusion. You pick the one that you need, and it goes to your motherboard, processor, and that end goes on top of that. So you take a blank case which we actually have one here. Let me show you very briefly. So when you've got yourself a new build, I think you've seen this in one of my previous videos, um, on the wrong side, there's a lot of holes here. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and actually put this right on top here so that it has access to the uh, ambient air so they can push the heat out and of course cool down the processor inside. It's quite easy, um, you know, you got some screws in there and follow the instructions that came with the casing most of the time that's included. If not, there's also instructions. It should be at the bottom here somewhere. So if you want the manuals, they're not in the box. You're gonna go ahead and just scan in the QR code. Of course, just go to the website and you could look it up 
by the model number. So in this case, written right in front, it's the Liquid Freezer 2, the 360A RGB. So that's the uh, latest one for our newest build. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm Bob Pellerin, CTO Bob. And of course, leave us some comments below. You can visit us at www.ctobob.com and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.